<clears throat> Eventually I did. C'est pas facile. <laughs> hey, why are you telling him to read that stuff that I'm going to read? Terrible trying to learn. Undercutting me. I mean, good job. <clears throat> hey, everybody. I'm going to do a short stream. I wanted to watch the football, but it doesn't start for a while. And there's no baseball tonight. <clears throat> So I wanted to read you a couple things. One is I wanted to read you uh, a comment from from Twitter, which was quite funny. It's the video where I call Magnus a little bitch. It's the one that came out a few hours ago. Thanks, Flex Donovan. <clears throat> okay, so this guy on Twitter said, Magnus didn't lose 50 plus games, completely destroyed Nepo in the world championship, won Tata Steel 2022. And we're supposed to believe Hans fucking Neiman showed up one fine day and beat him with black. Okay. And then put a thumbs up. <laughs> That's the kind of logic people use that are, you know, berating Hans and saying Magnus is a genius. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Mm hmm it wears me out. All right, then Trying to Learn sent me this nonsense on Twitter, on, on Reddit that I wanted to read. <clears throat> yeah, I like the way he spelled figure. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let's see, where is it? This is from Reddit today, I guess. This, this is a long read. So, sorry. As an outside observer and chess player who's been following this sub for a while, this is Reddit, I've never posted on this drama stuff before now. At some point, I feel like i got to step in because this community is getting absolutely ridiculous, frankly ridiculous. And a teenager who I am not a fan of and didn't know existed before two weeks ago, I guess he doesn't follow chess too much, is getting absolutely stomped by huge powers that have hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions, eh, maybe a million or two, um, and far more media presence and power. Yeah, as a human being, I'm absolutely appalled. What if he was a cow or a dog? I mean, I, I told my dog about it. My dog's like, eh, and he can't stand by anymore. He said, this is devastating for Hans. Now everybody just knows of him as a cheater. And then they said he's introverted, which will help him. He's not introverted. Um... Having your entire life and name exposed and vilify internationally is not a proportionate consequence to opening Stockfish for some online chess games. That is correct. Thanks, E Trainer, for the sub. Anyway, it's a really long post. Um, and then he says, you know, at some point, this is how I know Magnus is not a decent person. So he's basically ruining, he's actually ruining Hans's life because he thinks Hans cheated. When he doesn't have evidence, Hans, his evidence is like he he wasn't nervous during the game and why is he so good and how did he beat me with black? And he's like ruining his life is his point. You know, they didn't catch him in the toilet with a phone. Um, then he goes on and on. Um, craziest thing happened. I'm in Boston Square. Uh, I'm just getting texts from Matt Larson right now, right now, as we're speaking. He says he's in Boston. He goes to Harvard Square to hustle someone. Yeah, continue. Come on, you're, you're at Stanford. Type fast. Why are you in Boston? I walk up. I'm standing watching a game. Yeah. This is happening live, so I don't know. It's going to be funny. A guy comes up and asks one of the players, are you Matt Larson? So Matt says he's standing there and somebody asked one of the players, are you Matt Larson? That is funny so far. He looked vaguely like me. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> uh, 
eh, and so on. Okay, back to the cheating. Then he says the CEO, I assume he means chess.com, is up here teasing people about Hans will be fucked soon and get your popcorn ready. People thinking chess.com is a neutral, respectable third party in this mess? Question mark. Um, it's made worse by the fact that Magnus and Chesscom have tens of millions of dollars and they know whatever happens to them, they're, they're completely fine. They'll make even more money. There's zero risk. It's a goddamn game for them. Hans Niemann has made Jack in comparison to those guys. That's right. And he is the only person going to suffer real consequences to his life from this. And the guy's point is, and he even says it, but I don't want to read the whole thing because it's pages. His point is, if Hans cheated every game of his whole life forever, this is not a proportional response, which I don't agree with, but he basically says it's the whole world against Hans and Hans is 19 and the guy cheated on chess.com. Like, what the fuck is this? And he also points out that a lot of other grandmasters and IMs have cheated on chess.com, but nobody says anything about them. It's like Hans is all of them. So, so this guy at the end writes to Magnus, you've already won, dude. Hans is already fucked. His life is fucked. Everybody he knows is talking about him behind his back now. Every person who meets him will say, hey, aren't you that cheater in the news? <laughs> he dared to take seven ELO points off you with black and had a snarky interview and you fucking ended him. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Congratulations. You're a big man, Mr. World Chess Champion. <laughs> anyway, that's a great post. And some of his points are correct. It's basically the whole world against Hans. But, you know, I'm not a big Hans fan, so I don't really mind. Um, and Matt Larson said to me, maybe somebody saw Matt walking around and said he saw Matt Larson. Then the guy showed up and thought that guy looked like Matt Larson. So it was him. Yeah. Also, there was a post today on Twitter where two guys are playing outside at a chess table. You know, one of those stone tables. And one guy just has a phone under the uh, under the uh, the stone table. And he's playing and he's looking at his phone. And he's like doing this and looking at his phone. <laughs> when I say he's looking at his phone, he had chess on his phone. He was cheating. He was playing outside in the park and he was using his phone to cheat, which is funny. <laughs> and so forth. Well, it seems to me if, if Hans didn't cheat in the Sinkfield Cup, then this response isn't very proportionate. By the way, if Hans did cheat in the Singfield Cup, then, you know, don't cheat in the Singfield Cup. But he didn't cheat in Miami, and he didn't cheat in the that other tournament they just had where he where Magnus played one move. And the Singfield Cup, he gained, like, five rating points. So I don't know. I, I, I agree with, like, a lot of what that guy said. And, um, yeah. It's basically the world against Hans. And if Hans is innocent, you have like a teams of companies and people who are famous and, and have a lot of power, like punishing this 19 year old for cheating online on chess.com when like, that's what everybody did. So, I mean, basically Hans is taking all the, all the, all the, the weight of everybody who's ever cheated on chess.com and Lee chess which is a lot of people. And basically he's the poster boy for you cheated on chess.com. Therefore, and then you beat me. So therefore you cheated against me and your band and your children's children, or maybe just his children. Anyway, that's one person's point of view. And he makes a good point that, you know, it's Hans and then it's like chess.com and chess 24 and the PR machines that they have and Magnus against him because he cheated online and he's suspected to have cheated other places. Then you have all these stupid videos made that you guys believe. Well, some of you believe him. Like, oh, this proves Hans cheated. <clears throat> and then Hikaru fans the flames, which he's doing right now. Hikaru's streaming now explaining how Hans cheated or didn't cheat. Because, you know, you got to get views and shit. But, I mean, we don't know if Hans cheated the Singfield Cup. I don't think he did because I didn't see anything in the game that looked like he cheated. Obviously, he cheated on chess.com when he says he did, and he probably cheated more than that. But cheating in real life and cheating online are different. And basically, 
<clears throat> because he admitted he cheated on chess.com and chess.com leaked those emails, which I don't, I don't understand that still. Like he's finished. And if that was the case, if you believe that Hans cheating on chess.com when he was a kid and probably cheated more than he said should be banned from chess forever, then if you believe that's fair, I'm not saying it's not, but if you believe that's fair and you want to impose that on other grandmasters and IMs who have been caught cheating on chess.com, then I'm going to play in the next Singfield Cup because I've never cheated online and it's going to be Magnus and then like the next best players like me. So you can't ban everybody who cheated online. You just got to make sure they don't cheat in real life, which is harder to do, obviously. Anyway, all this stuff that happened, they're going to make tougher measures, you know, to, to cheat now because and people are going to be looking more. So for potential cheaters, they're in a lot of trouble now. If you were planning on cheating and you're a super grandmaster, this isn't a good time to do it. They're cracking down. Anyway, um, I read on the internet since we finished the last stream, which was two hours ago, that FIDE has started a commission to investigate Neiman and Carlson to see if Hans cheated or if Magnus has gone crazy and then punish whatever they think is you know, going to be a punishment. And I think it's much more likely they're going to punish Magnus than Hans. I mean, and there's a lot of people on the internet, because people on the internet know everything, that say Hans should speak out and Hans should make a statement and Hans should respond and Han no, I I don't see any of that. The 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 Twitter isn't like some kind of courtroom where he's been arrested and must now respond. Okay, Twitter's just a place where people go who don't have a life and they're like on Twitter all the time. Like me, I'm like I'm on Twitter all the time, right? And so if people say things on Twitter, you don't have to respond to them. Okay, if I respond to everybody on Twitter, I'd be a lot busier than I am now because a lot of people on Twitter send me stuff. You know, they send me DMs, they send me things, I'm, and I, I'm supposed to comment on all of them? That's not, that's not my job. Okay, your job, you at home, is to be crazy person who posts on Twitter. Hans's job is to play chess and possibly cheat when he can. I don't know. What are you asking me? There's no evidence Hans cheated the Singfield Cup. There's a lot of evidence he cheated on chess.com when he got caught and admitted it and possibly more. But again, it's just two separate things. Cheating in real life and cheating online is different. And, you know, 20, 25% of GMs and IMs have cheated online. That's my guess. Could be more, could be less, but I'm guessing 20, 25%. So if you're, I mean, the, the, but however, if you ask me what percentage of these people cheated in real life, it's much lower. It's less than 1%. It's hard to cheat in real life. And also, if you cheat in real life you're, and you get caught, you're done. If you cheat on chess.com, basically nothing happens. Nothing. They let you play on chess.com and like shake their finger at you. And then if chess.com decides to ban you forever, then you play on Lee Chess. And if Lee Chess bans you forever, you go to ICC or, you know, Chess 24. I mean, cheating online is like nothing to a lot of people. They, they think everybody's cheating, so it's okay. You have to explain that it's not, but that's different. But somehow, cheating in real life, that's taboo. Everybody knows that's wrong and you shouldn't do that. And mainly people that are doing it are playing in the World Open. They're rated 1,300. They're playing 2,000 strength in their under 1,400 section, and they're trying to win five grand. That's, there's a lot of cheating in the World Open because if you cheat a little bit in the World Open, you could use an old engine that's not very good, okay? You could use like Fritz 6 and cheat in the under 1,400 section, and you're not playing engine moves. You're playing engine moves from 20 years ago. And guess what? You're going to win the under 1,400 section. So it's easier to cheat at the lower levels because you can just do anything and cheat and win. At the higher levels, if you're 26, 27, 2800, cheating basically costs you your career. And cheating online doesn't. So there's a lot more cheating online than in real life. There's no evidence from Hans's game with Magnus that Hans cheated in that game. The evidence that's being used is Hans is a cheater, so he cheated in that game. That's not... It's possible. It's more likely Hans cheated than somebody else. If you said who cheated, Hans 
or Caruana, and I had to pick one, pick a Hans. In fact, you know, 90% of grandmasters, if you said Hans or that guy, I'm picking Hans. Sorry. But I don't see evidence he cheated in the Singfield Cup. I don't. Sorry. And I don't see evidence he cheated in Miami. He lost every match. He's the worst cheater ever. He played a tournament of nine matches in Miami. He went zero out of nine. That's a terrible cheater. You got to cheat better than that. So I don't see evidence he cheated in the games Magnus says he cheated in. I think Magnus just said he's a cheater. And he beat me. I don't like that. Because maybe he cheated against me, which is true. Maybe he did. So, and, and because of that, because maybe he cheated, Magnus is going to ruin his life. Greg Shahadi thinks Hans is fine. Hans played in these tournaments. Hans is playing in the U.S. Championship. And then we're going to find out after the U.S. Championship if Hans gets to play any tournaments after that or the organizers and sponsors don't want that. Well, I don't know. We're going to find out. If between October 15th and the next six months, Hans disappears against the invitations, then we know. If we see Hans playing in strong tournaments... Then, you know, then there's that, etc. And the, the, the argument that Hans isn't as good as Magnus, so if Hans wins with Black, he's cheating, that's not, that's not an argument. That's just silliness. Hans went 0-9 in matches in rapid chess. He didn't lose nine games in a row. He actually beat Magnus in Miami. He beat him the first game, then he lost the next three. There was a match score where you play four games. A lot of the information on the internet which says Hans played 100% in all these games, that's all nonsense. None of that happened. So when you read person A said Hans played 100% in 10 games and Magnus played 100% in one game, none of that is true. But you read it, so you're like, well, I guess Hans cheated. And none of it's true. It's not scientific. It's not fact-based. The research is done by people who don't know anything about chess or how chess works. The people who do know how chess works and how computers work and how cheating works say Hans isn't cheating. The people in the know. And what chess, chess.com I trust. If chess.com says we've analyzed all of Hans's games in the last two years over the board and we conclude he was cheating, then I believe chess.com because they spend millions of dollars on cheat detection. And they have a team of people, and they have a system. They're not like Naroditsky and Hikaru looking at a game and going, I don't know if I would play that move. I guess he's a cheater. They, that's not what they do. Okay, Naroditsky and Hikaru and the other GMs don't understand cheat detection. They should, because some of them had it explained to them by chess.com, but they don't care. They think they're above that. Hikaru is like, I will decide who cheated. I'm going to look at the games with an engine and I'm going to make money on content and I'm going to tell you who cheated. And you have to take that with a grain of salt because that means nothing. And the other people who are doing cheat detection, people I've never heard of, and they're saying Hans played 100% every game, that's nonsense. That didn't happen. Sorry, it didn't happen. And... Did Hans cheat over the board in the last two years? Maybe. Is that relevant to his game with Magnus? Not to me. It is to you guys. You guys are like, Hans cheated before, and Magnus said he cheated against him, so I believe Magnus. I mean, Magnus might be right, but he might not be right. And basically, by maybe being right and maybe not being right, the goal is to make sure Hans never plays chess again, which, you know, the, he's a kid. Even though he's 19, he's still a kid. You're 19. What'd you do when you were 19? You pled the fifth. That's what you did. So, you know, I'm not a Hans fan personally. He's not my favorite person. Okay? If I have to pick who I like more, it's Magnus. I like Magnus more. I like Magnus a lot more. If I have to have dinner with one of them, it's Magnus. Now, he wouldn't show up, but that's okay. I don't mind eating by myself. Um... So, like, as a personal thing, I don't really like Hans, and I like Magnus. But in this situation, Magnus went too far. He's ending the guy's chess career because the guy beat him. If, if Magnus won that game, th th this wouldn't be a discussion. If Rapport could have gotten into the country, this wouldn't be happening. A lot of things had to happen. 
A lot of things had to happen for this situation to occur. And they all happened. And what's weird is that Magnus played in two other tournaments with Hans right before Seinfeld and right after and doesn't think that Hans cheated in those events. Or maybe he does and didn't say so. By the way, if he cheated in Miami, that's just terrible. He lost every match and shit. Terrible. You're telling me he cheated in Miami and he lost all nine matches? God damn. Okay. And the matches weren't 4-0 or 3-0. They were all 3-1 and 2.5, 1.5. You know, he's worse than them, so he's going to lose. And obviously, in a situation where it's one game, anybody can beat anybody. So Hans beating Magnus, doesn't that doesn't mean anything. If if Hans played a 10-game match with Magnus and Hans won the match and it was a slow tournament, then I'll be the first one to come on and say Hans probably cheated. I don't see Hans beating Magnus in a 10-game match. But if you told me Hans beat Magnus one game, that means nothing. I beat Mamajarov with Black. The difference between me and Mamajarov is much greater than Hans and Carlson. Much greater. Okay, if I play Mamajarov 50 games of the time control we were playing, and I have Black in all 50, I'd probably win two. And I'd probably lose 40. And we'd have eight draws if I did the math right. But I won. Sorry. Sorry. And I, I didn't play well that game. The engine said I played bad that game because that's how I play. I, I play badly. And you could argue Mamajara was off his game. He was, he was having a bad week. However, one hour after I beat Mamajarov, he beat Wesley So. So it wasn't like Mom and Jarov was like deathly ill. But in one game, anybody can beat anybody. I could beat Magnus 2 in one game. I play Magnus 50 games, you know, I'm going to get like 2, and he'll get 48. But I might win one game. You know, it could happen. So, so we, we don't know if he cheated in the Singfield Cup. I don't think he did. And the other Super GMs don't think he did either. And that's basically the, that's the, that's the thing in the situation that matters. Because before that happened, Magnus didn't do or say anything, which indicated Hans was a cheater. After he lost, then it was all over. So that's the game I'm concerned about. And you're telling me, here's what you have to think in your own mind. I'm telling you how to think now. Imagine in your own mind, you don't think Hans cheated against him in the Singfield Cup. Just imagine you think that. Okay. In that case, just in that case, do you think Magnus is being reasonable? And some of you is like, yes. Some of you are like, no, Hans probably didn't cheat in the Singfield Cup, but that doesn't matter because Hans cheated before. And that's what Magnus is mad about. That's not what Magnus is mad about. Magnus lost with White to Hans. He doesn't think he should lose with White to Hans. I agree. And I think Magnus played worse that game because he thought Hans might be cheating. And that's not unreasonable. Thinking Hans might be cheating is reasonable. But saying he's cheating when you don't know, that's less reasonable. Ending his chess career, that's also less reasonable. Now, if he's cheating, and it's 100% he's cheating, then everything's fine. But I don't see that. If you guys see that, that's fine. You can believe that Hans has been cheating his whole life. Hans always cheats. It's a good thing Magnus spoke up. But if you think Hans did not cheat in the Singfield Cup, and I think most GMs agree with me, then Magnus shouldn't be ruining his life. Mad Hatter PNG. You can't ruin people's life because they're cheating on chess.com because then chess.com wouldn't have any members. Chess.com needs people to pay for memberships. That's why they don't throw people out who cheat forever. They, they let you, like, you know, confess, then they let you back with another account because a lot of people cheat. And those people don't cheat in the real life. Some of them do, but it's a very low percentage. For every thousand people who cheat online, one person's cheating in real life. That's my guess. I'm guessing. So when somebody cheats online, that basically means nothing as far as cheating in real life. It means you don't have to like the guy. Man, if you guys knew how many people cheat online, I mean, just raw numbers, like the thousands, the tens of thousands, the hundreds of thousands, there'd be a lot of people you wouldn't like. God damn. I've basically won every game for three days on chess.com 
but I'm always losing. I never know whose move it is. My opponents are rated 400, so I'm probably not cheating. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I am. I How do you cheat on chess.com? Hundreds of accounts get closed every month. Maybe thousands for cheating on chess.com. God damn. Delugi and Hans have both cheated on chess.com. And those aren't the only two titled players who have done that. I mean, there's dozens, dozens, dozens. And probably Magnus has played some of them. In fact, I know Magnus has played at least one of them. <clears throat> can't talk about that, but I didn't say who it was. So you can't, you can't just say somebody cheated online. I'm not playing them in real life. And that's why Magnus didn't withdraw from the Singfield Cup. He's like, that guy cheats online, but he's probably not going to cheat in the Singfield Cup. So I'll play in the Singfield Cup. Then when he lost to him, he changed his mind. He said, well, okay, I lost to him with White. So, okay, now I've changed my mind. Maybe he was cheating against me. Anyway, it's possible Hans was cheating against Magnus. I just don't see it. And the argument that Hans cheated before and Hans beat Magnus, therefore Hans was cheating, that's not an argument I accept. Sorry. What's funny is I have a story of my own. When I taught a chess camp in St. Louis, I'm going to say seven years ago, but... It could have been six years ago. It could have been eight years ago. I'm going to say seven years ago. I think it was more than seven years ago. Well, yeah, Hans was 11 or 12, I'm going to say. So it was seven, I'm going to say seven years ago. I taught a chess camp for strong kids. The kids were all 2,100, 2,200, et cetera. And they were all like 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. It was for... Uh, like of the Aviv Friedman chess school, Greg Shahadi, that kind of stuff. Aviv's the one who hired me. And Hans Zeman was one of the students. And we almost kicked Hans out of the camp for his behavior because he didn't behave well when he was a kid. And what's funny is there was more than one occasion where I would show a position and ask what the best move was. And Hans would say some move and it was wrong but Hans wouldn't back down. I'm like, no, that's wrong because of this. And he would go, no, no, then I go here. And I'm like, yeah, then I go here. And he's like, no, no, then I go here. And then I would be like, yeah, this is really good for my side. He said, no, it's good for my side. And he wouldn't, ba he wouldn't back down at all. That's the way Hans is. Hans plays chess his own way. So when he makes moves that are weird, he thinks they're not weird, and we do. And that's always been the case when he was a kid. He, if he made a move that was bad and you told him it was bad, he would say, no, it's not. My move's fine. <laughs> and then he would argue and you would analyze to positions and you would say, no, I'm right. That's, that's, that's who Hans is. The chess speaks for itself. Hans was a much worse player seven years ago than he is now. Yeah. No, he's not a bad player. He's a very creative player. And he plays a lot on tactics. He doesn't play a lot on thinking of the positional considerations. Like when he beat Magnus, there was a couple points in the game where he made moves that didn't make any sense. But they made sense if you know Hans. One of them was knight c4 going into a drawn rook ending. And then Magnus didn't take the knight, which was weird. And there was another instance where it was a bishop versus knight end game. And he allowed... Magnus to play a5 and then win all of his queenside pawns because a5 was the strategical move that he missed, I think. Because it's not tactical, it's strategical. It, it's, it makes the pawns not be able to move. And I'm like, yeah, those are Hans' mistakes. Those are the kinds of mistakes Hans makes. And when it's calculation, then it's very good. He sees very far ahead. And I mean, when he plays blitz chess, other people say he's obviously 2,700. When they play blitz chess for fun, I haven't... I haven't played Hans Blitz chess for fun, so I have no idea. I don't know. You know, I mean, in real, in real life. In real life, when people play Blitz chess against Hans, they say he's 2,700. So I don't know. I, 
That, that's what, who said, Fresenay said? Or is it Pelletier? It was Fresenay. Hans is Hans Gruber because they're both named Hans. The difference is Hans Niemann is alive. NVL said that? Yeah. Anyway, it's, 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 it's now I have another opinion, which is a very minority opinion, very minority, that this is all good for chess because it's bringing publicity to chess. And people are like, this is terrible publicity. No, it's good for chess. It's not good for Hans. It's not good. Everybody thinks you're a cheater all the time. It's not good for Magnus because people who love Magnus all the time, they still love Magnus all the time. But people, but people who di don't know are like, who don't like what Magnus is doing, ruining Hans's life basically, are like, how can you do this? So he, some of his legacy is getting lost with him refusing to play for the world championship, then accusing this guy of cheating. For some people, not many, but there's a small percentage of people who think less of Magnus now. Some, like 5%, 6%, that are like, I can't believe Magnus is doing this. I understand why Magnus is doing it. He, he's mad. He thinks, he thinks Hans cheated against him. And I get really mad when I think people cheated against me. But, you know, that happens. Cacao44 subscribe. Good, good. Let me see what I missed because I was waxing idiotic. Mad Hatter PNG resubscribed. And E Trainer resubscribed for seven months. Good, good. Flex Donovan gave 100 bits and so forth. Anyway, the thing is, if you read something on the internet that says, here's a video proving Hans cheated, that video is garbage. That, that video is just nonsense. And if there's a statement made by chess.com or Lee Chess that says, our team of sec our security team that catches cheaters has analyzed hundreds of Hans's games in the last two years, played over the board, and we conclude he's cheating, that would mean something to me. But if some random person I never heard of boots their computer up and boots up Stockfish 7 and says, yeah, Hans is playing 100%, he's a cheater. That's just nonsense. That's got nothing to do with reality. But you guys believe that because you guys believe what you're told to believe. You guys are like, that video, it says he played 100%. Hans played 30 games 100%. He may have lost some of them, but I still believe it. As soon as one of the guys says that Hans lost a 100% game, you shouldn't think too much of the video. You should be like, wait a minute, Hans played 100% and lost? When every video you watch about Hans's games only shows games he wins, obviously he played well, he won. That's not how you do statistics. That's not how you figure out somebody's cheating. You don't look at the games they won. That's not how you do it. And... The way to do it is actually expensive and complicated. And that's why chess.com has spent so much money on their team trying to figure out if people are cheating. It's not something simple. They didn't say, hey, Robert Hess, tell me if those guys are cheating. And Robert Hess boots up Stockfish 14 with 88 cores and says, yes, that's not what they do. But you guys think that's what they do. And that's, that's not what happens. So... Until some big company who spent tens of millions of dollars on cheat detection tells me that Hans cheated in real life, I'm not going to believe it. Unless I think he cheated, which I don't. I mean, I, I have my own opinion too. I look at the games. I don't see any evidence of him cheating in the Singfield Cup. I know he didn't cheat in Miami, and if he did, that's just terrible. If he cheated in Miami, he's got to cheat better than that. That's terrible. I mean, he did worse than I mean, he did terrible. Frankly, terrible. Those guys were good in Miami. He played good, he played good players in Miami, and they were matches, and they're better than him. And truth hurts. Now, Hans made it to the, the quarterfinals in the tournament after the Sinkfield Cup, the one where Magnus refused to play him. And he lost the quarterfinals match, but I forgot who he played. Does anybody remember who Hans played in the quarterfinals and lost? I forgot who he played. Was it Le Quang Lim? Yeah. 
And but seriously, this is serious. If any of the players at the Singfield Cup thought Hans was cheating when he beat Magnus, okay, you following me? Okay, would they have played Hans in the tournament later? Or they said, well, I'm not playing Hans either. Hans is cheating. They don't think Hans is cheating. They played Hans. I'm not going to play a guy who's cheating and beating Magnus with black. I'm not playing that guy. And they obviously didn't think he was because they played him. So if you thought the guy was cheating in your tournament, why would you play him? And also, it's very safe. Let's say, let's say for example, Wesley So thinks Hans cheated. And let's say that Magnus didn't withdraw. And now it's Wesley So's turn to play to play Hans. If Wesley So says, you know, that game with Magnus, I don't believe that. I think Hans is a cheater. I'm not playing him. Then So is going to take a lot of backlash for that. However, Magnus gave them an out. When Magnus withdrew from the tournament, now everybody's safe saying they won't play Hans. Oh, yeah, Hans cheated. I agree with Magnus. Nobody would think like that Wesley So or Fabi are crazy. They would just say, yeah, the 2,700 players, they must know what they're talking about. So it was really safe for the super GMs to refuse to play Hans after Magnus withdrew, but they didn't, and they played Hans because they didn't think Hans was cheating. But I mean, you know, after it just seems like a sore loser. You play somebody, you lose, then you say they cheated and you withdraw. That's... And then you're like, see, he cheated a year ago. He cheated five years ago. That just seems weird to me. Anyway, I keep giving the same opinion, and it keeps getting misconstrued, but that's good because when you guys misconstrue my opinion, then I can say it again, and eventually you'll listen. A lot of the misconstruing is Ben thinks Hans never cheated. Ben's in love with Hans. Hans is Ben's son, and Ben hates Magnus. I, I hated Hans Niemann before you knew who he was. <laughs> I'm the first guy to hate Hans Niemann. I win. But that doesn't mean he cheated because I hate him. No, I hate him now, but, you know. I wasn't a fan of his when he was ruining my chess camp. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, now you know something. See, Hans has been son confirmed. That's correct. Oh, it's 8.14. Time for football. Anyway, the important thing is football. Don't, don't forget that. And I got to make a prediction now so then I can tell you I was right tomorrow. And then if I wasn't right, maybe I won't stream. I think Cincinnati is going to crush Miami. Go Cincinnati. I just like Joe Burrow. Ooh, the hype train is close. All right, I'll never stop streaming. OMHPOZ converted a prime sub. Let's get a train going. Go Joe Burrow. I got Cincinnati. I think Cincinnati will win by 10. Cincinnati 27-17. I can't believe this is being recorded. Now I can't deny that I said it. No, boo. Tomorrow I'm going to say I told you Miami was going to win. Trying to learn, starting the train, 200 cents to dues. Since they was in the Super Bowl recently, then they lost their first two games this season. So people are like, what'd you do for me lately? People just want to know what happened in the last game. They're like, Miami's 3-0, Miami's the favorite. And since they lost the first two, they're no good. That's People don't care about the history or who's on the team. They just want to know what happened last week. Last week, Cincinnati won. That's right, Egypt's king. You'll have to watch the, the replay of the video to know what happened at the chess camp. His behavior was unconscionable. How many bottles do you drink a day? Well, I got three with me for this stream. So I don't know, 30? Also, Perry is being delivered tonight. Two cases. Delicious. 
Go hype train. Let's get to level nine. How much alcohol is in Perrier? Zero percent. It's water. It's it's one hundred percent water. The drama is the only thing saving our streams. So we have to have more drama. That was the first time I kicked his ass. Charlie Murphy talking about kicking my ass. <laughs> Go team Pellegrino. Come on, people. Let's go with the hype train. We need about 85 subs to get to 1,600 or 1,500, one of them. Unity. Yeah, I had unity on my forehead there. It lasted about a week. Yay, JAA928 gave 10 subs. Good. Good. That'll put us at level four. It's my guess anyway. Unity. Thanks, thanks, J thanks, C Wage. Five subs. That'll put us at level five. It goes all the way up now. You can keep going to different levels. It doesn't stop at five. Farnsley 69 subscribed. If you donate subs or sub now, as opposed to two days from now, you save a lot of money because it's September still. You get at least 25% off. When I raided Naroditsky after my last stream, I donated five subs and I subbed because it's so cheap now. Got to give Got to give Naroditsky those subs. About to beat my last record. All right. JT Foxy gave five subs. Foxy subs. I'm coming to get those subs. Hey, why so serious got a sub? All right. Getting some title players in here. I guess I won't stop streaming because there's too many people here. Hi, people. Heedless Chicken gave five subs. Karen said wow, but I don't know what she said wow about. Uh oh, that I'm streaming again. Ooh, my period was delivered an hour ago. All right. I don't want to run it over with my car. Okay. Somebody's texting me in Spanish. All right. Nobody's ever texted me in Spanish before. That was the first time. Level seven, hype train. Let's get to level nine. Look, Hans might have cheated against Magnus. I don't know. But there's not enough evidence where you would like ruin his life. I mean, you can't you can't beat some you can't play somebody and they beat you and then go on a rant saying they cheated their whole life. I mean, he he he, he thinks Hans cheated because he thinks Hans cheated against him. I mean, if if he had beaten Hans, this wouldn't have happened. So you know, that's that's the game that set it off. There's, there's, there's a lot of reason to believe Magnus because Magnus is Magnus. Magnus isn't fucking around. Magnus doesn't, doesn't talk shit unless he's kidding. Then he talks a lot of shit, but that's different. But Magnus thinks Hans cheated. And, you know, thinking somebody cheated and calling them a cheater to the whole world and every news organization's picking it up and the, guy, the guy's, like, finished, that's different. I think people cheated, too. But if I say they cheated, CNN's not going to pick it up. Nobody's going to care. Everybody's going to forget the next day. So Magnus got to chill out. Like, when Magnus says somebody cheated, he has to be at least 100% sure. If I say somebody cheated, you guys are like, yeah, Ben Feingold's an idiot. Brer Rabbit 23 cheered. I, I can confirm Hans did eat other children at the chess camp. Hans wasn't a nice kid. 
Some kids aren't nice kids. Like ma many of you weren't nice kids. Yeah, there you go, Ted Bradley. Now you're talking. Right, there's, a, there's an American GM who I think cheats, and I'm not saying his name. Because I, I, I don't have evidence that's 100%. I, I know what I feel. I talked to my homies about it. I talked to Matt Larson about it. And Matt Larson looked into it and he said, I agree. So, you know, I'm not crazy. I could be right. On the other hand, I could be crazy. So, you know, on the small chance that I'm crazy and the guy that I think is a cheater never cheated, I don't say shit. I just say I think there's people who cheat. But if I, if I say this player and I name some player and I say he cheated, then basically you guys will laugh at me. It'll be on Reddit. Reddit will say I'm crazy. But when, when Magnus says somebody cheated, God damn. The whole world knows about it. So you got, I mean, Magnus has a responsibility to, to not talk shit about people unless he's kidding. Then he has a responsibility to talk shit about people when he is kidding. Then he has to, that that's funny. But you know, when, but I mean, Magnus being dead serious. So when Magnus being dead serious and you make these accusations, you better be right. Yeah, I think it's wrong number. I don't think the person speaks English. <laughs> Let's see what's happening on Twitter. Keep going with the hype train. We're dying at level seven. We have to get to level nine. Nine! Anyways, just so you guys know, um, FIDE is investigating. They're investigating Hans and Magnus. They have a commission. I'm sure they'll do what's right. They'll find out the truth. Come on, hype train. We're dying in 25 seconds on level seven. Boo, boo. We've never been to level nine. We were at level eight like two or three days ago. We need five subs stat. Well, four subs. No, the train died. It died. They said it wouldn't. They lied. They lied. 100% trust in FIDE. FIDE is investigating. All-time record shattered? But I went to level 8 last time. How could it be shattered? New all-time record level 7, 17%? But I got to level 8 like three days ago, I remember. 29 subs, 800 bits. What else? Anyway, with FIDE's investigation and Zalugi being mad, we'll have more, more stuff to talk about later. I have no comment on the, 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 the guys who have been cheating for years. The hype train's being investigated. And anyway, thanks for watching my two streams today. I'll stream tomorrow. I don't know what time Karen's getting home. So she may or may not be on my nighttime stream tomorrow. She'll get home between 4 p.m. and midnight. That's all I know. That's somewhere in there. She might take a nap when she gets home. It wasn't Yasser? No, it's not Yasser. Let's see, who should I rate? There's Vampire Chicken. For Hikaru, it says sports. He, he's, he, it, what does that mean? What's Hikaru doing? The most successful student I've ever trained? Hans Neiman. Oh, he's doing football? All right, then I won't raid him. Vampire Chicken it is. With a name like that, it's got to be good. Tastes like Vampire Chicken. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.